Assalamu ala Rasulullah. Uh, thank you all for uh, showing up for this uh, webinar. I know you have a lot of uh, classes and usually it is uh, a little bit, um, I mean, this is the, the middle of the week and usually everybody's Or, um, webinar, as you can guess, I mean, the sooner the better. We had to uh, hold it um, earlier so that, inshallah, by the end of the week, things will be. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned in the uh, announcement for this uh, session, uh, it is a webinar for sharing experience. It's not a training session, okay? Because here we are not giving general training. We are uh, here for uh, seeing how we can meet the requirements of the channel. Okay, this is why we are for our webinar, meeting online checklist requirements. How to meet these requirements. Um, uh, inshallah, the uh, agenda for our uh, today or webinar will be uh, uh, we will clear review the checklist uh, to make sure that we all have the same understanding of the uh, items in this list then we are going to see some sample courses from uh, the teacher who have uh, met these requirements or some of them. You will tell us how they managed to do it. Then uh, the final part of the uh, session, inshallah, will be how to do. Okay, this will be questions from you and anybody can, build, for example, uh, how to share a link, how to uh, find uh, the recording link, something like this. Uh, so uh, any questions you have, how to do it, we will, uh, inshallah, uh, be doing it uh, for you. Uh, practically so that we will all share this. Um, let's start with the checklist of the regulation as we call it. And this is the one Dr. Uh, Hashim was explaining in the meeting we had last uh, night. Um, uh, as you can see it is divided into four categories. The first category is about uh, some items that must be there in the course. Then some items related to virtual lectures, or they call it practical classes. We don't have practical classes in our part about the virtual lecture or virtual classes or whatever. Uh, then the third one is about uh, the folder of the lecture. And uh, there might be some confusion here. We, this is one of the points we are going to discuss today, inshallah. Then the fourth point is about tests and assessment and the tools are used for uh, assessment. Um, uh, from um, remarks for third week that I have shared with, uh, with you, uh, most of the um, points were about the second and the third part. We, and I think most of it because of there was some understanding of the Although I have forward to the administration that, uh, and Dr. Hashim said that uh, the review was done before the session. And uh, this is why your word is appreciated and uh, it is going to be, inshallah, uh, reflected in the comments. So because I know that some of you were upset because they have started developing their courses according then after that we got the review. So, but the review report I think was done by uh, Thursday, Friday uh, before we get the session and before we started uh, developing or I don't want to say correcting our course because this is just some requirements and are. Uh, uh, if we go uh, quickly over the, the points, don't want to waste that. Uh, the first one, the course menu that you should have here tabs, the course menu on the our English courses. There should be a tab called course content or literature or class. 
pay and here you are going to, to, to do uh, uh, this is related uh, one one is related to uh, uh, to section number three this is where the folder we are going to put the teaching material okay uh, the, you also should have a, a separate tab for tests and courses if for example in one of my courses i called it weekly activity and i got a remark about it he, he doesn't have a tab for tests for like it are inside but no way okay call it tests so i will change it into tests uh, and there is one tab for uh, virtual classes okay this one is not a folder it is related to the tool it will take the students to the tool okay uh, because some of you depend on that they are going they, they are announcing the virtual class as announcing there should be a place that stu uh, without creating an announcement okay the students will go to this link and it will take uh, the student directly to the uh, blackboard collaborate uh, ultra tool okay directly okay and uh, so there should be a tab for all description and all this and I think we didn't got we didn't get comments about this one. This is a separate tab in which we put, uh, as you see, uh, just if we put the uh, evaluation plan of the course, the course description, some information about you, it will be uh, enough. This one, inshallah, uh, the uh, some courses uh, we are going to, to see, inshallah. Uh, okay, so the first inshallah category is very easy to. Um, for virtual classes, okay, uh, you see that um, a lot of uh, items here. Uh, first of all, we should use, or not should, we must use Collaborate Ultra because teacher, we are using Zoom and other uh, programs, it's not allowed, okay, uh, and there should be, on, we are not allowed to use, me, me, for, for me, I was using this, uh, the, uh, the link for the course uh the course room no we should create links for each uh for each uh, class even if we have uh, more than one class uh, on the same day they are consecutive okay uh we, we we will create one link for each class i have a class from uh, 10 to 12 and another from 12 to 15. okay it was very simple i can create one link and we will give that the same class okay no you have to take because he has in his list that you have three classes on that day so there should be three separate uh, links okay um, uh, and also uh, the classes must be on their scheduled day and the time okay and if you are going to change the time do it at the same on the same day okay not put it to another day. date is more important okay uh, fourth point that um, uh, that the label of the class should be and I think from this point because once you create the uh, link the date is shown uh, automatically but if you'd like to add the date in the name of the link okay, it will be uh, uh, number five this is very important that you must record the class then you must put the link of the recording in the uh, content area okay so uh, don't demand that the students will uh, go and find the link no you have to make the link available in a separate area either in the with the lectures or for me i am making another tab calling it uh, recorded session and as we are going to see some of our uh, uh, and if you missed uh, a virtual uh, class Okay, one of the classes which it must be um, uh, made up for on the same day and you must make that this is a makeup class uh, and you should make an announce for uh, this one. Um, uh, okay, quickly if we move to the third part about uh, the lecture or uh, folder, forget about practical, part. the lecture folder, this is the content area of your level. Okay, uh, here you should have a separate folder for each week. Okay. For you, okay. And if you have one part that is not separable and you are teaching more than week, okay, week you can call, for example, part one, weeks two and three, for example. This is, but if you can separate it, it will be uh, better. And here it should be labeled week one, week two, and all uh, this one. 
and uh, in each week you have to continue the teaching material and here they are teaching us what are the uh, the teaching material this can be pdf uh, powerpoint presentation whatever material or please take the link of the recorded session for this if you don't have any material okay you can put it uh, there so i told them that sometimes like in, in intensive i can to provide material for, for example in one of four we have 18 classes so i can for example provide something about uh, a grammar grammatical rule of the uh, of the unit something like this okay so uh, there should be at least 18 recordings okay of this uh, of this uh, classes or uh, the, uh, material if you can provide uh, some uh, material uh, and this material should be teacher created okay but if you'd like to use extra material like um, you see that like outside video and all then this would be something like uh, extra uh, one. okay uh, here this is that the title of all should carry the title of the literature or the practical class okay and try to manage it uh, uh, then here for tests you should have a separate uh, uh, tab for tests and should at least three tests and according to our plan we will have four tests inshallah will be no uh, there will be an announcement okay for tests okay and, and now it is easy because when you create the test you can make the uh, system create an automatic uh, announcement uh, and the test should appear in the uh, test uh, area and then how many assignment discussion the other uh, things and I think we have alhamdulillah uh, enough of this to uh, carry on and we didn't get any um, remark about these uh, points uh, most of the remarks we, we got were, were about that uh, that we don't have teaching ma materials in the uh, literature folder uh, and uh, this is because most of us some of us were not recording the classes and if they were recording they were not putting the links in their uh, uh, so this is um, um, a general that we can, what we can unify our understanding of the uh, checklist um, um, then if we uh, move to the second point we, we have Is that inshallah we are going to see have a sample for uh, one of the courses that uh, the reviewer uh, gave some praise and was had with Dr. Balil's uh, uh, courses and I asked him that uh, he is going to uh, take us in a tour a free tour inshallah in his courses uh, to show us how he managed to uh, get this uh, praise or catch their attention. I'm going to give, give him now a uh, moderator privilege uh, that he can uh, share his uh, desktop with us and uh, show. Uh, Dr. Bali, with us now, if you have any question before we start this uh, part, otherwise, Dr. Bali, with us now. Uh, Dr. Rashid virtual class recording lecture slide material. This title of the content area that is most cited than cost. The problem this is the, this is what they say. You, you, you can call it uh, course content. You can call it uh, literature. So you would like to call it what? Virtual class. We are not. I, I refer to use all of them. These are you can call it course content or course lectures. Or course classes, or course materials. Okay. Uh, uh, on my part, I prefer course content, but it, it is um, you know, more general and generic work for you. Content. Any anything can be a content. Recorded session, the lectures. Because if you go course lecture, this means only the lectures. But if you are providing the textbook, providing something, so there will be no problem about uh, that anymore. Uh, so you guess you want. To use the virtual class yeah for me i have two separate tabs one for recordings and one for content this is for, for me and the are all alhamdulillah i didn't get any comments about it okay dr believe 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. Uh, I don't know whether my voice is clear now or? Very clear, alhamdulillah. It's clear, clear. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. And um, welcome to all my colleagues uh, to this uh, uh, meeting. And uh, uh, I don't know whether it is possible to share, uh, Dr. Abdel Fattah, is it possible to share the Blackboard? Yes. Uh, yeah, you have the privilege of uh, moderator, and you can share your desktop. Or, or, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 So uh, first of all, I, I do want to say that uh, I'm teaching three courses: uh, uh, phonology for girls, phonology also for uh, boys, and uh, translation three. According to translation three, I'm not teaching it alone. I'm teaching it together with uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Ghazwan, and. Uh, uh, I mean, his efforts, uh, his efforts are uh, before my effort, you know, in, in, in making this course also good, you know. Uh, we, are, we are still trying, you know, to, to make it good, and also I'm trying also to make, to meet, I mean, uh, uh, all the uh, points that are required in the checklist. Okay, anyway, uh, let's now uh, start just uh, uh, because the time is, uh, I think, uh, 10 minutes, so let me immediately to go to the first course. Just one minute. Now this is the first course I'm teaching, uh, phonology. Yeah, this is uh, the first course I'm teaching. I tried according to the uh, external appearance of uh, of course, I try to make a separate tab for every item that is required in the mentioned check checklist, starting with the, this tab, you know, min uh, al or start here. Start here is the first tab I uh, uh, I tried uh, to make here. In this tab, I have announcements to students, an announcement for every short. Uh, electronic test is put here in this tab and uh, also besides uh, we have uh, uh, here I, I have included uh, uh, this is also an announcement for the beginning of the course and uh, the general directions that came from the university are put or are included within a file here. Uh, the first tab is uh, here for students in order I mean just to know uh, the most uh, 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 recent uh, announcements and also to have an idea about uh, 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 the beginning of the course. Then I have another tab for information, in, yeah, course information. In this tab, students will find the course specification, uh, the course evaluation sheet, uh, how uh, will they be evaluated, and information about the course instructor. This file is, uh, uh, inf I mean, includes information about the course instructor, uh, including my uh, email and also my uh, my mobile number. Okay, you know the name, the department, and uh, the other details, uh, including my WhatsApp number and my also email, so that students can contact immediately. Uh, then I have another. Uh, Another tab for the course content. In the course content here, I have a separate, first of all, I have the, uh, uh, the, the, the main book, the main reference of the course, English Phonetics and Phonology, Peter Roach. And also I have then a separate uh, folder, a separate folder for each week. These are the lectures of the first, first week, for example. Uh, though the lectures of the first week uh, do not, uh, you know, meet all the, let's take the third week because we started from the third week, you know, after uh, that session. Uh, in this week, I have what, I, first of all, I have a file, uh, including the uh, PowerPoint presentation of each lecture uh, with the name of the date of that lecture. Sunday 22, I mean 22nd, Sunday 22nd of Shawwal, PPT presentation. 
Then below this file, I have also a link to uh, the recording, to the recording of that lecture. Uh, um, uh, all the lectures, all the PowerPoint presentations, and all also the uh, recordings are available here, including also the other activities that were done within the classes. I mean, if there is a worksheet or something like that. All the files are uploaded here for each week in a separate folder, in a separate folder. This is, um, you know, the other folders are according to the other weeks, you know. This is what, this is uh, a folder for the fourth week. Okay, then, uh, sorry. Um, okay, course content. And then I have also a separate tab for virtual classes. From here, I mean, students can access uh, the virtual classes. Uh, another also, another tab, another separate tab for tests and assignments for tests and assignments uh, tests and assignments are uh, put or are uh, you know uh, uh, uploaded in one uh, uh, in one uh, folder this is for short electronic test one and this is for assignment one these are the most important tabs i have uh, in uh, the home page including you know the the details this is about the first course I am teaching. Uh, shall I move to the second uh, course, Dr. Abdel Fattah? Uh, yes, please. Okay, uh, the second course is translation because uh, uh, the the third one is phonology also for for the same uh, for I mean for boys. So uh, this is the third course I'm teaching. It is translation. As I told you, I'm teaching it together with my colleague my honorable co colleague, Dr. Ghazwan. And uh, uh, as I told you, you know, mashallah, Dr. Ghazwan also uh, has a lot of efforts in this uh, course. Uh, the thing also starting with course information. In this uh, tab, we have uh, 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 information about the course instructors, both of us, you know, uh, in a file, a PDF file, including all details about the instructors. Uh, I told you telephone number and emails and so on. Course description is included here. Also, the evaluation sheet is included here. Announcements. There is also another uh, uh, another uh, tab for announcements in this in this uh, tab. You know, in uh, course information. We have also uh, another tab for lectures. The same, the same as uh, as you saw in the first course, you know, in phonology, each week has a separate uh, file, including, you know, the same also, including the PowerPoint presentation, a file for the PowerPoint presentation of every lecture. Below this file also you have a recording of that lecture, a recording of that lecture. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, a separate tab for the tests and a separate tab for assignments. Here in this course, uh, uh, Dr. Razwan preferred to what? To separate these two tests, a, a separate tab, and assignments has a separate also tab. No short electronic test. You know, this is the first electronic test. The students, inshallah, are going to take the second at uh, the end of uh, this week. Another tab also for the assignments, they have also the first assignment they have already done. And also another tab or a separate tab for the discussion boards. Uh, we have uh, a discussion board for this course and the students are still participating. Uh, we have a separate course also for contents. All the references of this course, you know, it is translation three. Uh, all the references that we are depending on in teaching this course are available here in front of the students, so they can go back to any of the references uh, at any time they want. Okay, so, uh, just one minute, please. 
Okay, uh, uh, th that's all I think. Yeah, we have also a separate uh, a separate uh, tab for announcements here. Uh, a separate a separate uh, a tab for announcements in order to make it easy for students, you know, to have the most recent assignments uh, announcements that we have uh, regarding assignments or regarding what electronic tests. Uh, that's all, Dr. Abdel Fattah. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Bali, for uh, this informative uh, presentation or show of and Also, I'd like to thank Dr. Razwan, partner in creating this course. Dr. Razwan, if you'd like to add something. Uh, okay. Dr. Amin, inshallah, I'll ask everybody now if they have anything to share with us. Don't worry. This is the aim of uh, the session. Yes, Dr. Ghazwan. No. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Abdul Fattah, for this meeting, for arranging this meeting. Uh, and, uh, and nothing to say because Dr. Balir has uh, shown you everything. Okay. okay. Thank you uh, both for your efforts. Thank you uh, for your efforts. Uh, and um, uh, as you, you can see now uh, from what we, we get from uh, these, these courses, uh, they have uh, tabs, general tabs, like a tab for start here to have information about to help the students, and then a tab for information about the course, and a tab for announcement. These are general. Then related to the course, we will have one, one tab for course content, one tab for the virtual classes, one tab for uh, tests, and then you can have more tabs for other activities like assignment, discussion. But the most important that we must have a tab called content, and we must have a tab called tests, just for tests. I don't know, the, you don't want to mix tests with other uh, activities like assignment or discussion. So we will keep it in one tab, okay? And of course, of course if you are creating the tests uh, with the content, you can put here links because um, a Blackboard allows us to make links for meetings. I can create, for example, this is uh, the test was, uh, is on in, in my content area in part one. Okay, so I go to the test tab and I will create a link. Okay, uh, uh, and I link this uh, this tab to the to test one and test two and test so they will appear in a separate uh, separate one. Uh, if you have any, uh, before we move to another course or another uh, uh, success story, if we can say, uh, do you have any questions about uh, uh, the layout course we have shown now? Uh, okay. Yes, uh, yes, Mr. Abdelman, yes, go ahead. <coughs> Okay, but don't uh, just are asking now. Okay, then I later I'll ask you to uh, share your uh, share your course with us. Menam. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, or shall we move? Okay. So we have uh, Menam. You are not responding to us or we left. Abdul Menam. Hello. Hello. Yes. I want to share my screen. Okay, share your screen. I'll give you the moderator's privilege. Uh, just a minute. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now you have. You can share your screen and show us your work. Okay. One minute. Okay. Inshallah, we will uh, see the something from Iftikhar. Okay. Later. And this is important now to move uh, uh, okay? general courses to uh, intensive courses. Yes? Look, it is appear there? My screen? Yeah, yeah, we can see it. Yeah, we can see your screen. Okay, this is uh, uh, course description and information. The first step, like this. It appear like this. And here, okay, of course, some regulation, system schedule, and so on. And, and here, this is assignment. 
tough for a family. Now let's take them one by one. I'm <laughs> Daniel. You can't. You take them one by one. So we saw course description. We have course content and teaching materials. Yes. Yeah, we have okay, second one. Course, course, material, and teaching material. All the things are here. Week one, two, three, four. Okay? Four, when we enter here, we find four, five folders. Quizzes for practice, uh, videos, extra material, like a PDF, workbook, and lecture recording. Okay? Each week we have three quizzes we have yeah, three yeah. let's take them one by one okay a minute this four week week four in okay. week four we have week four yes five folders. yes each week we have five folders. quizzes videos extra material I make it my by my friend. And upload uh -huh. it in the so uh, okay. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Each unit we have four four videos. New videos. I put it in the channel. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Okay. okay. Number two, here, extra material. Yeah, in the classes I make uh, I make where and change it to BDF and put here. Like this, Matalan, color and closes. When I work, and open in new. I did this during the classes. And I upload in the blackboard. Okay, or myself, I put here. Recording material. Okay, Minam, give us one. These are screenshots from the iPhone. Yes. And you can make them into video. Yes. And this is our recording lecture. I take the link here and I put the time and the date. The lecture. Today, Tuesday, class one. Where? Yes. And each unit we have five folders, quizzes, videos, extra material, workbook, and... What's in workbook? Workbook, the teacher, and he put uh, his work here, if he has some. Uh, teacher B. Yeah, teacher B. Uh -huh. Teacher B. Uh -huh. And all the, the weeks, like this, from one, like this. This is one. The same classification. Videos, videos, extra material, where book, recording, lectures, and so on. Okay. To seven, uh, week seven. And the test separate. separate. No, no, what's the virtual class? class? This is for uh, the, uh, the collaboration. Yes, virtual class is here. All the yeah. virtual class yeah. is here. So it, it will take us to the... Uh, 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 Yes, Ultra, Collaborate Ultra. Okay, all, the previous session, all the previous session, complete from one day. No one, no lecture is missing. But some of them, we are not recorded in the first, uh, first week and the second week. All they are recorded. Okay? Okay, then we have test. Uh, test in separate. We have three tests, week one, week two, week three. The four, uh, uh, it's not yet. And assignment, there are three assignments. One, two, three. Okay, okay one, now, I will. the I question will is, uh, now, you changed this from last week or it was like this from the beginning? <laughs> I don't hear you again. Uh, now you you now you are the layout or it was like this last week. No, no, I, I did it yesterday. Yesterday I do it. Yesterday I did it. In the past yeah. we have two virtual classes and two uh, mm -hmm. for uh, 
one tap for where vogue and something like this by my our name abdul munim yeah, al haji the remark about that, that yeah. thing is our mix of our record and the i don't know what but but now i think that is our uh, here this is uh, 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 a okay. uh, uh, any of our colleagues they have any comments suggestions uh, something questions between tests and the quizzes Abdul Manam, you got the question? No, I didn't hear. You are asking what's the difference between quiz and test? Ah, quiz and test. Ah, the quiz is for practical only, no marks. I, okay. I give them, uh, doctor, I give them three units. Each unit, 40, 40 questions. And I have 150 questions in the week. The test I came with the pool from this test only 25 items. I work like this. Okay, very good. It gives them 120 questions each week for practical only. And the test on Thursday with the pool 25 questions from this 120 questions. And the test without mark only for practice. The quiz is only for practice. Yes. Uh, speaking of uh, tests, and uh, okay, Mr. Ben, can you please put your mic because it is making an echo? Yes, there is echo. Okay, please switch it to your, uh, your mic. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> why it is making the echo? Okay, uh, stop sharing. Okay, okay. Uh, speaking of uh, of tests, uh, you asked me about, and we we are going because it's special intensive courses. We have a lot of classes and. We are going to make the test during one of the, uh, the class. Um, and I think Dr. Hashim in Arabic presentation, we think that would, would be no problem uh, if it is at the time. Uh, but I'd like to ask Dr. Jamal if he can uh, give us more information about this because he is working with the team. So what do you suggest about this? Because we, we wanted to give the, the, uh, the test during the time of the class, and at the same time, they are asking to have a link and to have a reported session. So, Dr. Jamal, if you can give us some. See, uh, they, at that time, they asked Dr. Hashim, Hashim, and then he said many times that uh, the lecture should be there. But he said at least for. Uh, Sometimes even see if we uh, start, I mean, uh, create uh, the session, and then meet the students for discussion about the test for 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I think that will be okay, because it, there there must be a session, and then okay. it couldn't be done in just in uh, I mean without a session. If it, I know what they do, in, uh, in, as you said, I am the committee. If uh, we conduct the test and then there is no session in the report, they write there is no lecture. I mean. The doctor mentioned the lecture. They mentioned like this. Very good. Uh, so uh, this is a good idea. So it it will be like an open session. It is like as if you are uh, available as, uh, for example, like an office hour. If you are built there, and this is my suggestion, you are going to create a session at the, the time of the class. Okay. Uh, you ask the student, all of the students, to look in at the beginning of the class if they have any. Uh, question something to clarify some point okay for 10 to 15 minutes then ask them to uh, start doing the, the test and don't leave you you yourself be there so that if they have any question or something they can come back to the uh, class and uh, and they will uh, ask you the, the question uh, will that also 
they are not going, they, they don't look at the content of the session. They just need a link. <laughs> this is what I think. They are not, don't think that they are going to open all the classes and they, okay, it's, it's, it's an open session discussion for discussion, for question. Uh, consider it like a question and answer uh, session, okay? But try to be uh, as there as, as long as possible or if you can uh, make it open the whole time of the class, it will be, uh, and I, all that we will find that it's coming, instead of um, asking this question during the uh, regular classes, they can ask, this is like an open question for suggestion, explain something to them. Uh, Dr. Belir, yes? Uh, yes, doctor, I have just uh, a question. Uh, according, according to the oral test, uh, how can we conduct the oral test? Shall we also put it in an open session, for example? Um, I don't know whether it, can, it should be conducted also in uh, a virtual class? Yes, yes, well, because this is the best way for, to conduct uh, oral tests. Oral test presentation, discussion of project, discussion of uh, papers. Okay, it's better than now can you try to make all your work during the session time. Okay, try to do it. Instead of asking the students to do uh, them outside the, the, the class time, try uh, to do them. Or, uh, is my answer clear or you have something else in your mind? Yes, okay. Okay, okay. okay. So okay thank you very much. The session and conduct your test. Uh, I think here Dr. Rashid was asking about uh, Something, discussion forum activity and the assignment required. Yes, uh, for discussion and assignment, you give them what is required before. Then make the submission time during the time of the class, okay? Uh, and, but, but be careful, we are doing this for uh, intensive especially because we have a lot of classes. And if you have 18 classes for the students of web, it's not logical you ask them to work uh, again outside. And in our usual work, we used to have a lot of uh, practice a lot of uh, um, worksheets and some, some during the, the class. We have a lot of hours. But for courses that have a lot of materials, you can make this outside the, the time. But if you'd like to make for, for assignment, okay, you ask them to submit during the time of the uh, of the class. You, you give them the assignment, they prepare, okay, and they have the answer ready with them, and they submit. Even the discussion, the discussion, there are uh, main posts and replies. They should uh, prepare the main post before the time of the class, and at the time of the class, they send the post and they start replying to their. Uh, their this is my uh, suggestion. If others have any uh, suggestion, Dr. Rashid, uh, will the attendance be marked on attendance in such a session or on the activity? And says no. If if you are not teaching. Uh, part okay, so you make attendance on uh, submitting the activity. Why is that it is a test, a discussion, and assignment? This is uh, from my point of view. Okay, because the, uh, if a student has no, ask them, ask them that they all uh, must show up in, uh, in the uh, in the lecture. Okay, for just five or ten minutes. Uh, okay, this is the Okay, uh, any other questions? Okay, uh, let's now. Alaikum salam, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yes, Dr. Hajjaz? Yes, Doctor, just I'm asking, about, I have a class from 12 o'clock up to 2 o'clock. So, and this time, uh, students, they want to go to pray, and through recording, uh, I leave, shall I leave uh, recording, shall I leave my class recording or stop it? I mean, to give them a break, 10 minutes to, to pray. Okay, uh, I prefer I prefer to keep it running because if you stop and they can zoom again, you will have two recordings. Okay, in this way you have two two recordings of the same uh, class because it will stop and resume again. Uh, so it is better if you uh, keep it and it will be a silent uh, or no problem. Uh, I don't I don't think a lot of students will go to the report session and uh, and review. Yeah? <laughs> I doubt. I and even those who don't attend are not going to uh, do it. Anyway, anyway, I should give this remarks so for myself, but whatever. Iftikhar, I give you a uh, moderator, uh, so you can share your uh, desktop or your courses.
And in, uh, okay, we we need uh, any other example from our courses, major courses. This is the second example now from intensive. Is it the car? I'm ready. If anybody okay. wants to participate, it's up yes. to you. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay. 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 Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Can you see this one? Yeah. Okay. Here is my home page. Uh, I have created all the items according to the instructions given uh, here. It's a welcome note. Start here. Okay. You can have an idea. It's an introduction to the course and welcome note. All the things are here. And here I have put my you know contact number and here is a contact number of my teacher B. I have clearly written written all the things that he is going to teach. Uh, teacher A is going to teach 16 hours and teacher B will teach for 8 hours and 24 hours a week. Okay. I have also mentioned there will be 7 electronic tests and 5 assignments as we planned earlier according to the instructions of the chairman. Okay. Then here contact information. Then I have put some regulations. Then assessment plan here you can have an idea here. The same I think every intensive teacher has. Yes, it was prepared uh, by Dr. Abdul Fattah and we are thankful for his help. Here I have also included the schedule, uh, total hours, who is going to teach and I have mentioned the specific time with the name of the teacher. Here you can see and here is the all assessment plan tests and teaching assessment plan, test assignments like that. Okay, then I go back to another page. Okay, then here the course, course description is there. Okay, as per requirement. And I have also mentioned this one, basic core course information. Uh, the title is there and all the uh, required material is there, online teaching like that. And then assessment plan I also mentioned separately like how many tests seven tests and uh, they can 35 marks five marks for each test and there are five assignments and one mark for each assignment then there will be a listening exam for five marks and speaking for five and I have distributed all the marks and I have also shown uh, the distribution of the great great policy of the university and it's okay then uh, nothing is there, nothing important like that. It is just a welcome note. Even uh, after welcome note, there is a course description and information tab. Okay, you can see here, I open it. The same things are there. All the things are there. So it is just a repetition. But as per the requirement, I have created a different tab. The important thing is course content and teaching material. You can see here the third tab, course content and teaching material. I open it, click it, look here. It is distributed week wise, week one, week two, week three, week four. So I will just open week four and I will show you that I have updated my work. Look here, all the classes are recorded right from this Sunday. Recording is available. I started from this Sunday and all the uh, classes are recorded and link is available and there is a separate link for the uh, recorded you know look here it was I have created a different folder for recordings look here virtual classes recording all in fourth week you just click and you can they can find it okay then I have a different uh, another folder which is very important one of the important virtual classes okay this was the main point where they raised question the committee raised question because we were having two different tabs I had created my own tab with my name and my co-teacher Dr. Jazz 
he has he had also created his own tab for himself so there were two different tabs and they created a you know there is a question there is the issue that there must be one tab so uh, according to their instructions no one tab for uh, hashim go mad for this he was very angry yes look yes you're right he might be angry, but you know we were div we were uh, divide we were uh, doing our work according to our own you know uh, satisfaction or our at our own ease and but once they the oh, it is the way for the students what i told them okay yeah. that this, this is how yeah. students because sometimes the students close the course after the new teacher yes, yes you are right <laughs> okay, so yes after the, yes after we made one so it is very clear. okay when you uh -huh. clear this one when you open look it takes you to the blackboard ultra okay there is one tab for all the things for yes. look at class you have yes all previous sessions here all now everything is inshallah I hope everything will be according to the instructions look then there is a different tab for the tests i okay here all the information def, uh, separately test one week one test two week two test three week three according to the plan okay and i have also listening which is going to be held in you know uh, next week and this is a listening test also uh, week five and all the tests are separately on the test lab uh, test tab look there's a different tab for the tests okay then there is a different tab for assignments as well i didn't mix them up this tab is created by my co-teacher dr hizaz hijaz look here and he's doing his very his work accidentally very well very well work look here assignment one it was available and it is hidden now all the things i have you know different tabs assignment is a different tab then i have created a different tab for announcements right from the day first you can find all the inform information announcement look here the very first day i i you know made an announcement to the students okay that this is the schedule for the teachers you can see the picture okay this is uh eighth shawal okay and you know right from here you can see each and every announcement is there for the tests for the assignments and look here this is the latest announcement for the assignment four okay so this is a you know i think all important and necessary tabs are there one is missing please guide us we are all colleagues okay uh, we have i think some uh, questions okay sir uh, go ahead okay yes, Dr. Uh, uh, yeah the project think is that uh, the welcome note section is that it, uh, it seems to be not available to the students okay, he, he, is it available to the students? Let me check. Let me go there. So that you can see. Yes. Now it has the sign here that it is not available. Okay. Uh, you move uh, the cursor there. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Click on the the arrow next to uh, welcome start here. Okay. No, not this yeah. one. On, on the menu. In the menu. No, in the menu. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Click on the arrow. Yeah. Yeah. No, click on the small arrow. This one. The small arrow. No. 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 The small arrow on, on the title of in the menu itself. The okay. Menu. Okay. 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 No, no, from here. So no. 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 So in the menu, in the um, in the gray menu on the left, on the left, you this. see this sign after after the word here. You see. No. No. I this means that it is not available. Okay. There is a um, uh, bracket or something like this. And okay, if you okay. move, okay. Uh, I, I will, I will visit him and I will get help. Okay. okay. Try to make it available. It's not available now to the students. So they can. Uh, it's hidden from the students. I okay. See. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. The students expected to graduate this semester, but he didn't appear from the beginning of the semester. Absent percentage to book 43, it means he's already deprived and about to reach. 
respect to the same. Should I keep uploading this? Of course, has he contacted you, Dr. Ghazwan? And we, we had some cases like this. Students, some students expected that uh, the summer semester is going to be like the other uh, semesters, uh, and there will be uh, no feeding. Uh, 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 but after two weeks, uh, they started contacting us. Yeah, yeah, he contacted me only yesterday, and I told him that there is no flexibility in this regard. He says, mm -hmm. he he said that he didn't receive any message from the university that he is deprived. He is thinking, he said that he is thinking that it will be like the second semester, that the summer semester will be like the last semester, because the last semester he was not deprived, although he didn't appear uh, or, or he okay. appeared only some classes. So yeah, okay. this time, this time, thinking that it will be like last semester. Actually, he didn't appear even one single class. I am stopping uploading the absence. If I upload two classes absence of his absence, he will be tot totally deprived. So I am. I have this question: to be flexible or to or to keep uploading the absence. First of all, uh, he must have uh, gotten an announcement or a message when his absence reached 10%, 20%, 25%. He got three he, messages at least. Automatically yeah, yeah, I know. Know. But I let's know. Yeah. that he changed his number or something like this. And he, uh, uh, if, he is, if he is serious, this is my, my, my suggestion, like, take it. Uh, if he is serious, okay, tell him that if you keep attending all classes until the end of the semester and you start doing all your uh, work, okay, we will uh, see for this. But in one condition that is not going to uh, come to 50%. If he reaches 50%, it will be out of our hand. Okay, so you can freeze his uh, absence to, uh, at, at that percentage now. And if he is regular from now on, in all classes, participating, doing all activities, okay, we can uh, mark him excuse for some classes so that he will uh, be. Uh, that's, this is uh, what I, I uh, think. Uh, if other colleagues have suggestions and if you accept, because he's a graduate student and it's, I don't know, Yanni. Okay. Once he's, and he's and serious, and you can consider. If he is serious, he will, he will come from the beginning, if he is serious. I know, I know, but uh, he, he yeah. uh, this is understanding. And this okay, is considered okay. that he didn't no receive problem. any message. But I'm no sure problem. he received the message and I'm sure Okay. okay, but let's see, but uh, he's, but, uh, he's serious now, okay, and he will attend all the classes from now on, okay, so okay. we will, but don't remove, don't mark him, excuse now, keep him uh, until now, so okay. that he will be, he will be, because if you um, start the marking him, excuse, he may will be absent again. Thank you so much, thank yes. you. Yeah, by this now, tell him that that's one plus, and you are going to be deprived for all. Uh, for uh, those students okay. and those students who have excuses, should we forward the excuses to you or what to do? No, 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 it's up to the teacher. It's up to the teacher. If you accept, okay, uh, official excuse, you, you start. And it's also up to you because you know the students. If they are really attending the classes, if they are doing their activities, mm. on, we will be more, mm. uh, more and um, I, I'm sure. I, 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 I'm sure. I think I hear this, but at the end of the semester, the, the university itself is going to be very flexible with the, with the matter of uh, banning the students. You might right. make them instead of 25, you might take the 35 or 40, something like this. But I'm not sure. Right. Um, fine, fine, fine. fine, fine. Uh, any, any other questions? Anyone who would like to share their experience? We had now two very good experiences from the uh, intensive courses, uh, excellent. Uh, Mr. Uh, Shane, Mr. Asif, Mr. Manzoor, if you'd like to add something about intensive courses, uh, Mr. Manzoor is teaching with Mr. Muhammad Khalid a course, and the Dr. Uh, Hashim was very pleased with their courses, the course. So if you'd like to add any uh, idea that uh, none of our colleagues was uh, doing. Uh, Dr. Jamal, um, what is missing at this and he wants another uh, chance. Again, Mr. Jamal, it's up to, to you, okay, uh, if it is one. For, for me, for example, I 
give to my students two chances. Okay, for uh, I, I'm giving him one attempt for each test. Okay, but then I give them two chances: either to have another attempt if they are getting uh, low mark, so they can get use it, or if they miss one test, they can uh, I can give them another uh, chance to do it. But I I only give two to every student. But also again, you might be flexible with another student. It's up to you, and you know your students and who is. Uh, and want to learn so it's again up to you as a teacher okay uh, and you know your students and uh, better that you um, of course we need to be more flexible you know about uh, things about like this especially now uh, life started to be open again and we started to go out uh, any other questions other uh, participation, something like this. Um, now, one of my students didn't the thing. Okay, no, no problem. Mark here, absent. If she is banned, the exams, the tests are not going to uh, make anything if she uh, is banned. Okay, but if she started to be regular and she has been doing the classes, uh, because about the tests, sometimes they are not. Uh, you know, <laughs> Last week, one, one student asked me, oh, please, teacher, I'd like, I didn't do the test, I'd like to do the test. Okay, she, she, it was the first time she asked me. But when I went to, to give her a chance, I found that she did the test, and she is getting five out of five. And she answered 22 questions in eight minutes. It's very strange. That you, you did the test. Said, no, 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 I didn't do the test. Please allow me. You did it, and I showed that. No, no, I didn't do the test. I don't know how. Then I that she was giving uh, her password and someone she was giving him uh, some money and to do the tests for her. So it's um, about the tests, it's not um, uh, an indicator of being a senior uh, student. Yeah, it happens a lot of times and they rarely we, we discover them. Yeah, well, one of my students answered the, the 22 questions in five minutes. This is very strange. This is someone who is, I don't know, smart. <laughs> uh, who is going to manage the, the home page? Uh, what, what do you mean the home page? Uh, you, you mean the layout of the course? It, this is, we, 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 this is you know, teacher A and teacher B uh, are, um, you know, would be uh, what, what it is a joint responsibility but um, officially teacher A is responsible okay he should uh, make the layout okay and then ask teacher B to uh, start putting his work because usually teacher B is working in two courses okay uh, because he will have half his schedule in one session and another uh, so uh, teacher A is responsible for making the layout and then uh, assigning the place where teacher B is going to uh, put his uh, work. For example, you are, uh, they are going to create uh, a tab for the report decision and uh, create uh, the week's uh, folders. Then, uh, once teacher B finishes his uh, classes, uh, he will take the link of the recording and put it in the uh, week. Okay? But uh, the folder set should be created by teacher. Uh, teacher. Uh, but anyway, at, at the end, it is a joint responsibility. Um, those who uh, don't give any response, you mark them absent. Of course, you start calling the name at least two times during the, the class. You start uh, sometimes calling all the names or calling them, but of course not one time. If you call the name two or three times during the class and there is no response, mark them absent directly. This is what I do. Okay, because a lot of students just open the session or I don't know what happens. They ask somebody else to do it to open it. For, I don't know. I have in all my classes some students, every time I, I call them, but don't because sometimes there is might be a problem with the sound, something is not, something like that. But if you more than time during the class and there is no response, but he is there, okay, mark them absent. And you and this is better, this that we have the reporting. What do you mean don't respond? 
to respond, in, uh, I'm not speaking about participating by answering the question. Just ask them to type anything in the chat area. Okay, just type one yes to show that they are there. Okay, and if you start marking them absent, they are going to start to be uh, there all the time. Okay, but this is because now they are just opening the session and they are not there. Okay, so it is not a matter of participation and answering the question. This is another way. It is the my students, okay, just respond yes or no. If you know the answer, it's okay. This is something good. If you don't know, I will give you another chance later. But just tell me that you are there. Uh, you, uh, you should write the names that chat. Uh, Dr. Uh, man, I don't Dr. Yeah, also, yes, they're very good. You Dr. can, uh, if you don't hear, yes, you can write in the chat that uh, this student, please respond. Okay, yeah, very good. This is another uh, solution, Dr. But uh, again, uh, there might be a problem with the, the, uh, the I, I, do, I mean, don't mark him absent unless you have called his name at least two times or three times during the time of the uh, of the class. Okay, very good uh, questions. Lively discussion. Do you have any uh, other suggestions, any questions? Yes, Doctor. Yes, Doctor Gamal, yes. Uh, just I, I saw with Doctor uh, Said Iftikhar uh, for, uh, the uh, tests from uh, week one till week seven. Mm -hmm. And in one in one of my courses I I had the same. All the tests are, are all the tests are hidden, but uh, the reviewer write that no test because so many tests are there I couldn't find which is uh, available and not av available. Though all of them were hidden, so uh -huh. the, I don't know they want us to uh, put them in a different folder or something. Well, my, uh, yeah, I think that because there are. Many exams so many tests he didn't know which of them are the tests he wrote in the comments uh, mark this and then he said there is no test because there are many tests there are no tests i know but we consider this is also when i wrote my report about the whole department i said that these are minor remarks this is either the the, the reviewer didn't understand but we were uh, the most important about the major remarks uh, that uh, for them. So, so you're suggesting that we, we, we don't create the test until it's time to come or what? No, no. See, in the test, uh, I mean, in my in folder of the tests, all my tests are there. I mean, from the previous semester, but they are hidden. Uh -huh. So he wrote that he, I could, there is no test because I couldn't find the test for this week. Oh, good. Don't know. Though I know, I know. That's they are. I mean, the students cannot see them, so they see only. So I are not naming them. That it's test one, test two, test three. Yeah. And then uh, the the review the reviewer wrote in front of my name or in front of my course that there is no test. And then in the comments he wrote because there are so many tests. I don't know which test he has. Can I please? No, because he, he doesn't know. This means that there is no test. No, this is not uh, an objective yeah, remark. Yeah, 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 and it's uh, refutable, as they, they say. Yes. It's, not, it's yes, a final word. Yes, Doctor, oh. can I, can I uh, reply to Doctor? Uh, yes, okay, yes, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, in, if you can uh, read, it is clearly written that this test was available, okay, and it will be available. It is, it is there to create a difference, okay, it shows the difference. It was available, it will be available. And it is the week wise mention. It is mentioned week wise. It will be week three, four, five, six, seven. It means it will be available in week seven. It's about the future. It is not available. And when it is week one, it was available. And it is clearly written on that you know logo that it was available at that time. So there is no objection at all. Uh, there should be, as our colleagues are saying here. Also, he should he could uh, have gone to the great center and find the test. And there, are, I think this is this is why I'm saying, Doctor Gamal, this is not an, uh, a major uh, remark, and we, we can reply easily uh, to this uh, this one. 
Uh, Astrid is asking here about, uh, and this will come us to the third part, and uh, I thought we are going to uh, go without it. This is about how to do. He's asking how to make a link uh, available uh, for the uh, recording. Uh, let me share my, my uh, screen with you. And um, uh, okay. Okay, let's uh, look into one of my courses. Uh, okay, so here I have my uh, virtual classes. Okay, uh, here uh, we started the ultra. Here we have the session, the link to the session. Uh, we go to the recordings from uh, this tab, from uh, the, the menu here. I go to the uh, recordings of the uh, classes. And, for example, this is a class held on Sunday. This menu and here you have copy link. Okay, you copy the link of it. You can download. Okay, uh, I, I do this, but it is not a, li a little bit. Uh, I download the, the video and I have some uh, video uh, programs. I start cutting some parts and make it a video that is easy to watch and I upload it to uh, YouTube. Okay, uh, or you uh, can have the uh, copy link for this one this is the, the easy there are other ways and in the uh, recorded classes uh, here I have for every week I have the recorded classes and uh, the video from um, built uh, content you can make web link okay and here you are going to type the uh, paste the, the link of the session and here you type the day this is for uh, some day whatever here some of this for mine okay and Twitter also would have it written here and you can change it. I make some duration then when you click uh, submit. Here this is uh, the link. You click on this link, it will open the recorded session for uh, the students. And in this case, I will have all the recordings in uh, this, this place. Because it's uh, difficult for the students to do this. Okay, but in a usual case, okay, the students, once they have uh, access to the tool, they can also have access to the recordings, okay? Because I, uh, when we are creating the, uh, the session here, okay, we can make the uh, students download the recordings and we are uh, allowing the students to have access to the uh, uh, I hope it's clear now, Mr. Asif, and for all. Okay, uh, Ms. Asma, uh, go to the lead grade and click on one of the, the names and upload. Um, Asma, I, I don't get your point. Can you clarify? Or any uh, other who wants something, uh, how to do any of the uh, things, how to uh, content, how to create something, you can uh, ask. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, this is why I said that uh, this point for Dr. Uh, Rashid. Uh, if there is uh, nothing else to share or something, uh, thank you for showing up for this uh, session. Uh, inshallah, it is uh, recorded and I'm going to uh, prepare the recording and send you as uh, a video, not as a recorded session because you are not going to watch it. Okay, so inshallah, I'll send it as uh, a video if you'd like to review and for our uh, other police uh, didn't uh, make it to that's uh, uh, thank you, thank you all. Uh, Mrs. May answer for yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So this was an answer for the question. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, thank you all. Uh, inshallah, uh, inshallah, another meeting, another webinar, as time allows. Thank you.